Trace, have you officially shed your baby T nickname now that you got your first double double? <laughs> I have indeed. Clay announced it right when we got in the locker room, so I think I'm Trace Jr. now. <laughs> Obviously, it's always be ready, be ready. But did you have uh, an inkling that this might be a night for you, or how did um, you approach it? I mean, um, the coaches told me before the game just to be ready. Um, you're probably going to play tonight. And then um, just getting in, um, providing energy for my teammates, trying to make the right plays, and um, just doing everything I can to help them. So, What's uh, going on in your head sort of before and after that block on, on Jalen? Um, I blocked a lot of shots. Um, it felt good, especially he had it in his left hand. So um, I thought I had a chance. I thought I timed it right. And then at the end of the day, just instinct, go get the ball. So That's a lot of velocity coming uh, to the rim. So does that, what does it feel like? Do you, do you feel your hand bend back? What's, what's the sensation like? Um, I did feel it, actually. Um, it did bend back a little bit. Um, but I'm just glad I got a piece, because that would have been on the Sports Center. So. Hey, Trace, uh, what was your angle on that shot by Curry? And uh, <laughs> can you try to come up with some words to describe it? Um, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I was sitting right under the rim, and I'm looking. I'm like, that's that's good, that's good. And then I said some words that I'm not going to repeat as it went in. So, Obviously, there's been a lot of discussion about what your role could be. Should you be playing more? Can you be playing more? Obviously, you've put two pretty good games back to back here. Has anyone said, hey, you are earning a role? Has there been discussion about what the next few games and the next few weeks might look like for you? Um, for me, honestly, I'm just blessed to be here. Um, just coaches always say, whenever you're ready or whenever you um, get an opportunity, make the most of it. So I'm just trying to make the most of the opportunity. And um, whenever the next time they call my name, um, I'm going to try to make the most of it. So. Trace, for the past, I'll say, like, decade or so, this team has been rooted in and led by like, seasoned Hall of Fame veterans. And this season, so far, like you yourself, Brandon, Jonathan, a lot of young guys have really stepped up. Is that fun just to see a group of younger players be able to keep this team afloat, like, lead them in some way while other guys kind of navigate their early parts of the season? Um, absolutely. Um, I think that the best way to explain it is um, our young guys, I think we play with a lot of confidence. And then having the vets and Hall of Fame guys come up to you and give you confidence, and then we play with that energy, I think the vets feed off of that. And so I think it's a win-win on both sides. But um, playing with JK, Moses, and BP, um, it's great. And they provide a lot for our team. How much? Uh... I guess pride do you take in the impact on defense and when you see the stat sheet and you're plus 25 in 28 minutes what what does that mean to you what's the significance of that to you um just trying trying my best when I'm out there just to try to give my team an uplift I know when I got in the game we were down and uh, just doing things like blocking shots and doing stuff of that nature so we can get out and run and um, providing energy plays is um, the biggest thing for me just trying to get a spark for our team Probably sure how much time was left on a shot clock when you got that offensive rebound, but did you actually check the shot clock and and kind of what was your thought process from there? Yeah, I looked. It said like four seconds, I think. Um, I don't know. I was about to shoot it, and I seen Steph open. It's a pretty long pass. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he practiced that, getting shots off quick. Figured. Give him a crack at it. I like his chances. Chris, we know you're, you've been feeling under the weather today. It's exactly what are you dealing with, and, and when did you know that you could go tonight? Uh, life, just same thing everybody else sort of be dealing with. <clears throat> a little fever or whatnot. Uh, when did I know? Uh, probably when I woke up. <laughs> did it bother you at all during the game? Um, a little bit, but it's... It's it's always fine, you know. I, I missed the game. I think uh, in OKC, it's the first time in my whole career I missed a game because of sickness, and I was pissed. You know, all these years you're sick at times or whatnot, but you find a way to get through. You guys played Trace like 29 minutes tonight. Uh, what dimension does he give you personally with a kind of a pick and roll center, but just the team also? Uh, not just me. Um, Trace is such a a good. Um, I want to say kid, but I mean, but he 
he's such a good player, right? And he's a rookie. And I, I've been pretty easy on him all season long. And then I finally sort of went nuts on him a little bit, I think, in Portland. I think it was Portland. Was that our last game? Last game, yeah. yeah. Portland. And he just started killing. He's been hooping. And I'm not saying that's why, but um, I think he has the capability to do what, what you guys are seeing. And he just gives us a different dimension because he plays above the rim, uh, his shot blocking ability. And I think what he's seeing now is that he does a lot of things that don't show up on the box scores. He changes shots and his athleticism um, is something that, that we need. It just gives us a, a different dimension. Steve talked a little bit about how what this win could mean. I mean, against a team of that quality to come back the way you did, that I think the way he put it was this could sort of get the ship back on course. How do, how significant is this in your mind? I mean, it's it's a, it's a really big win for our team. Uh, it's no secret we we've been through a, a lot in this uh, what twenty some games into the season. Uh, it's been a lot going on, but um, I think the guys in our locker room still. Uh, believe and know that we're capable of, of a lot this season. And so it's a, it's a really good win against, like we said, a really good team. And hopefully this can can get us going. When you say you got on Trace, is it just you're, you could be better? Or, you know, do you know it's possible? What, what kind of, generally, what kinds of things are you telling him at that point? It's teammate stuff. <laughs> yeah. How probably. good How good can he be then? Really good. I mean, you know, when you're playing uh, in the system that we're playing with, with guards like me, Steph, all of us, but you also got to understand that me and Steph play totally different. You know, so you got to understand that when he's coming off a ball screen, you may hold it so he can get a three. With me, you may hold it so I can snake and now you get a lob. You know, so the game is constantly changing. And so for somebody like him, it's a lot. It's a lot being thrown at you, but we're pros and he's watching film and I mean, he went up and got a couple rebounds in Portland that we was all in the locker room talking about after the game. You know, he's so athletic, and when, when he does that, like we said, we, we have a little bit of everything. We got Loon, who's out there. He's in the right place at the right time. We got Dario, who's picking and popping. Um, in this league, in order to be successful, you got to be able to play different ways, and he gives us a different dimension. You had Tatum defensively for a stretch there. Uh, what kind of pride do you take that he did not score very much when you're the primary guy defending him? I didn't play defense a long time. Long time. So. Yeah, I mean, I I play defense. <laughs> I've been all defense a few times. He's taller than you. Just about every night the guy's taller than me. <laughs> you ain't noticed. <laughs> My son laughing because he... <laughs> Those the other short guy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people taller than me. <laughs> Chris in Phoenix, you you worked with uh, Trace a lot after practice one of those days, and he, I talked to him in Phoenix, and he was saying how much he's been learning from you, and how much have you sort of made a conscious effort to work with him? And I mean, you run that pick and roll so well for so many years with different people. How much of a personal sort of connection is there there? Yeah. Um, no, I just told Trace I didn't got a lot of big guys paid a lot of money in my career. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I don't know everything, but I know a few things. And to to see him and how he's been open to it, and uh, it's just been great because with the way that Trace plays, if you saw a game in Portland, we got some wide open threes just because of his ability to put pressure on the rim. You know, and anybody who's watching the game, like I said, there's a lot of things that don't show up on the stat sheet. And so uh, it's good to see him coming into his own. Steve said that uh, that Clay Thompson's shot selection recently has changed this team. What do you think he meant by that? <laughs> what he said. <laughs> In what sense do you think it's changed this team? Um, I mean, Clay. I, I said it before. Clay is one of the best shooters to ever play this game. Every time he shoot it, I think it's going in. Uh, I mean, I dribble hand off to him. He hit the big three to tie the, tie the game up tonight. And I think, you know, when you can shoot it as well as Clay, you're just thinking, let me let me get my shots up. But we, we didn't talk about it as a team. You know, we want him to, to shoot the ball, you know, whenever he can. But we just want to try to make sure they quality shots. And so that's not something new. That's what every team is saying, you know, around the, around the league. 
You hit Trace on a couple like pick and roll dives today, and obviously, you know, I think he played like 29 minutes. Um, what does he bring to you guys? Um, a vertical spacer, a shot blocking presence, and uh, a big, strong, um, physical big man who uh, is uh, incredibly athletic. Tr Trace Jr., very athletic. You declared in the locker room that that is now his nickname? That is his new nickname, correct. It's only no one trace in my life. That's Trace Thompson, MLB player, father to Roman. What do you think of a win like this? So we know the season's been a little bumpy to start. What do you think this could do for the rest of the season? Uh, we knew this already, but we have the ability to beat anybody. And uh, just give everybody confidence that we can continue a great win streak here and put us in a right the ship. And uh, most importantly, that we, uh, yeah, have the ability to beat anybody from the best teams in the league to the bottom teams. Nice, Matty. Hey, Clay. Um, you've seen Steph make all sorts of shots from all different angles. Uh, What's your reaction? What are you thinking when you see that hierarchy three go in tonight? Uh, very grateful it went in. It was an incredible shot, moon ball. And I mean, he never ceases to amaze us. I thought that step back going right was even more impressive, though. If uh, for anyone who shoots a basketball out there, they know how hard of a shot that really is. That was very impressive from Steph. I see about CP3's. Ability to to find people. He he had that little drop back to you for the big three to to to, to tie the game. I believe late, and you kind of pointed to him afterwards. What what's that kind of chemistry like? Do you feel like you and CP have kind of established what what you need to establish with that chemistry? I think so. And uh, Chris, uh, what a great game he played tonight. Floor game. I mean, just filled up the stat sheet, and it's just a joy to play with him. He makes my job so easy, and. Uh, He's one of the greatest, obviously, to ever play. So he makes everyone around us better. And um, I'm just lucky to be his teammate.